Hey, what's up guys? Hope you are all doing well. And I'm here with another episode of Best Android Apps for this month. Make sure to check out our previous episodes as well. Also, as you can see, I'm using the Galaxy S7 Edge as my daily driver. So stick around if you want to see an in-depth review on it. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Starting off with App Volume Control. This app lets you to set individual volumes for each apps. Here, you have the list of apps installed on your phone. Tapping on any app will allow you to set its volume. So how it helps is, let's say I don't want to be disturbed when listening to music. What I will do is, I will choose the music app and set the ring volume as well as the notification volume to zero. You also get options for alarm and your system volume. Also, you can set different profiles when on a headset or Bluetooth, as well as give actions when you close that application. So personally, I'm really liking this app. Takes a bit of time to set it up, but once you are done, it's really good. Next up is Notification Log. This is a great app for those who gets a lot of notifications. As we have the habit of clearing all the notifications, we might miss out on important ones. So with this app, you can review the notifications even after you have cleared it. All the notifications dismissed from the notification center are stored here. And you can swipe right to dismiss or left to snooze it with a timer. You can dismiss all the notifications from here as well if you want to. Up top, you have options to see the snooze notifications and options to exclude apps and settings for color, appearances, etc. Also, you do have a widget for this app, which is quite handy to track notifications right from your home screen. So for someone like me who gets a lot of mails and other notifications, this app is very handy. The next one here is called Wallgram. This is a wallpaper app and here you have all the wallpapers. Additionally, you can use the slider menu to browse wallpapers from different categories like nature, tech, game, abstract, etc. Once you have selected the wallpaper, tapping and holding will get you options to save, share, crop or set it as a wallpaper. So try this app, it's a great app with a variety of wallpapers. Next up is Kickstarter. If you love tech or anything that's innovative and new, you can install this app to stay updated with upcoming projects or innovation. Here you have all the popular projects. You can use the slider menu to choose the categories individually. So whether it's food, music, games, you can go ahead and explore what's new. Tapping on the project will give you a detailed info on that project, like its promotional video, comments and fundings. You can also fund the project if you want to. I would say it's a cool app to explore new and innovative stuff. Next up is Corgi. This is a lock screen app with the integration of Feedly and Instagram. I personally think Instagram is a great add-on as I have all my feeds right at my lock screen. I can swipe these feeds to browse through them or swipe from the side to bring the whole feeds. Here I can choose between Feedly or Instagram. You can double tap the feed to view it and the good thing is this does not unlock your device. From the app you can change notification, turn this app off and manage your services. From settings, you can choose the lock screen security, wallpapers and so on. So a great add-on for Instagram or Feedly as you can check all your feeds right at your lock screen without having to unlock your device. The next one here is called Malmath. Malmath is a great app for mathematical problems. It's basically a scientific calculator. Here you can enter the problem or any equation and then tap solve to solve it. Let's say 9 plus 7 whole square. Then it shows us the solution. Also we can review the steps as well. You can also shuffle random problems and see the solution. So one thing I really like about this app is it not only solves simple equations but complicated equations as well. And that too with all the steps. We also have other useful tools like worksheet, graph and problem generator. Problem Generator is a great way to practice mathematics as you can choose the type and difficulty. So great app for students. 
Next up is Twilight. Staring at the screen for longer period of time is harmful to your eyes, especially at the night time, as the blue light emitted from the phone's display may distort your natural rhythm that causes hyperactivity or inability to fall asleep. So basically this app adds a red filter that filters the blue light emitted by your phone. It automatically adapts the time of the day and controls the display accordingly. You can also manually adjust the color temperature, intensity and the screen dim. From the slider menu, you can pause or stop the application and switch between different profiles. You can also add a new profile from here. From more settings, you can try other experimental features which I really found useful. And then again you have options for notifications, boot and so on. So a must have app for healthy eyes. The next one is Phoenix. Recently I'm more active on Twitter and I was not happy with the default Twitter app. So after a bit of research I found this app. Slightly expensive but worth it. You get a very simple to use user interface, very well organized and from the slider menu you can see your timeline, Twitter mentions, messages and so on. From settings you can customize the UI like the color, theme and so on. Overall, a very intuitive Twitter app for all those who are mostly active on Twitter. Next up is Hexlock. Hexlock is a simple app locker with fingerprint support. Here you have different profiles, which is really handy for locking your apps according to your location. You can add profiles or edit the profiles from here. On settings, you have options like passcode types, lock screen, passcode requirement, uninstall prevention and so on. So very simple to use app locker. Last but not the least is the Adobe Suite. Well smartphones these days have great specs and have the potential of doing almost everything a computer can do. Well at least for the basic users. Also the cameras are capable of shooting stunning videos and photos. So to increase the productivity and creativity Adobe has a range of apps for us. As we all know, Adobe has offered us powerful apps for our computers like the Photoshop, Premiere Pro and so on. They also provide similar apps for our smartphones. First, let's talk about the Adobe Clip. This is a great tool for editing videos right on your smartphone. You can import clips and edit your videos like a pro. You have all the necessary tools required to create an awesome video. Next, we have Adobe Lightroom. This is another great tool for editing your pictures. You get most of the tools that you have on the desktop version of this app. Additionally, it also offers cloud services to sync your projects and access them from anywhere. You can also explore other apps like Photoshop Mix, Photoshop Express, Capture, Draw and so on. So a great suite for creativity. So that's all for this video guys, I hope you found this video useful, stay tuned for more and I will catch you guys in the next one.